90% of traders are not profitable. In this video, I will teach you how to become one of the 10% of those elite traders who are consistently profitable every single month. One of the traits that these traders possess is emotional control and discipline. Emotional control alone will be a deciding factor whether you will be profitable in the upcoming years or not. Now, I completely understand. Whenever you lose a trade, you get this idea in mind that you are a loser. You think like that just because you lost one trade and that will affect your future trades as well. Whereas the trader who is profitable, he will lose one trade and he will Will reanalyze the market and then probably he will come back the next day be patient you know have emotional control and then trade that alone can significantly improve the way you trade so you gotta have emotional control you need to stop over trading and you need to stop revenge trading now i will give you some tips on how you can build discipline and emotional control so a lot of people maybe will not believe in this but i want you guys to meditate whenever you wake up i want you guys to meditate even for 30 seconds if you're just a beginner mindfulness can be really really beneficial for you it will build emotional control it will build discipline and it will actually help you win trades i'm not kidding so i know as a beginner it's gonna be hard for you to meditate for like 25 minutes or 30 minutes every single day so i want you to start short i want you to meditate at least for 30 seconds whenever you wake up so when you wake up you meditate for 30 seconds and you just continue with the rest of your day another tip that i can give you is daily gratitude so whenever you wake up after meditation i want you to write something that you're grateful for it could be your parents it could be the breakfast that you had it could be anything now this will train your brain in a way that you will be fulfilled every single time and you will be grateful for every single single thing now most of us miss out on small things that we are grateful for right so just writing these things that you are grateful for are going to greatly improve the way you trade the way you see the market and the way you see the overall life so i want you to wake up you know meditate for 30 seconds in the beginning days for a week or two then after meditation i want you to write something that you are grateful for it's going to be really really beneficial for you you will not see the results straight away but over the time you will train your brain in a way that you will start seeing the markets in a different way so there are tons of videos on meditation on youtube you can watch them and there are tons of videos on daily gratitude that you can also watch on youtube so i highly suggest that you start learning about meditation and daily gratitude now another trait that these traders have is that they never stop learning at the moment i am a profitable trader i have all the proof on my instagram i am making consistent profits every single month but that doesn't mean that i stop learning new things whenever icd puts out something new I am there to learn that stuff. I want to have a lot of strategies and models in my arsenal. So whatever is presented to me on the chart, I can trade it. Now, you must have a solid trading strategy. I've said this before in my other videos as well. But if you don't have a trading strategy that is consistently profitable, you will lose money. So what I want you to do is to backtest more than you trade in your initial days. So the more you backtest, the more you will improve. The thing is, I can give you the best strategy in the world, but without personal experience, and you know consistent backtesting you will not become profitable and i'm speaking from personal experience because when i started back in 2015 i was just taking random trades and i was losing money so i became a full-time backtester and a part-time trader if that makes sense and that helped me achieve these profits that i'm making consistently every single month so there are a bunch of videos on my youtube channel that you can watch you can pick one model and then you can backtest and forward test that model tweak it to your likings and see where the things grow from there now if you really want to build your own trading strategy I highly suggest that you watch ICT videos because right now I can give you my own models based on ICT teachings but probably when you watch ICT videos you can build your own model that might be even better than the models that I currently have. Now the other trait that these traders have is solid risk management. I have actually seen people who do not use stop loss and that just bothers me so much. Also I have seen people risking 7 to 8 percent per trade of their entire capital and that is something thing that is holding you back so i'll give you a solid risk management plan that you can use on your funded accounts and also on your personal account so start with risking 0.5 percent or one percent risk per trade i do not care how many trades you lose but stick with that one specific person so if you're using 0.5 percent stick with that person if you're using one person 
stick with that person that's all you need about risk management guys you have to manage your risk all right this is very important and a lot of these traders who are successful they have solid risk management plan now i will not be talking about trailing stop losses taking partials those things are really important as well so i highly suggest that you learn these things from youtube there are a bunch of videos on youtube or you can just check out my channel and you will find a video which will teach you actually how to manage your risk now i have also seen people who do not know how to use position sizing tools so there are a bunch of softwares out there there that will let you know about the lot size that you're supposed to use for that trade so now there's day trading there's scalping there's swing trading and there's long-term trading now you could be profitable scalping but you can lose money when doing swing trading you could be profitable doing swing trading but you can lose money scalping so what i want you to do is to test out different types of trading you can start with scalping if you're profitable well and good but then if you're not profitable you can just move to swing trading and you can see whether you can become profitable in that way of trading if that makes sense so you have to pick your style and once you have your style stick to it now another thing that these traders have in their life is that they have other sources of income and i've said this before in my other videos as well if you don't have another sources of income you're totally relying on trading this will greatly affect the way you trade and the amount of trades you win let's suppose that you don't have any other sources of income and you are totally relying on trading when you will lose one trade the pressure will increase and this will greatly affect your psychology then you will probably over trade or revenge trade because you have to pay your bills you have to pay for your children's school fee you have to pay for your wife or whatnot i don't care but think about it realistically right if you don't have any other sources of income and you are totally relying on trading keep in mind that you will go through losing weeks or months and a lot of these traders who are in the elite 10 percent they will go through losing weeks and months so just get this thing out of your mind that you will you know always be profitable like every single week every single month every single day this is not true trading is not like that i know there are a lot of videos on youtube a lot of gurus who sell you this fake dream of making like millions in a week or a month it doesn't work like that guys you have to stay realistic you have to keep your expectations real so i highly suggest that you have different things going on in your life it could either be real estate it could be any other business out there but i highly suggest that have any other source of income it will greatly release all the pressure that comes with you know full-time trading really like like i have another source of income this alone can make you become profitable and this alone can change the way you trade now as i said before these traders do not stop learning even if they are profitable they will keep on learning different stuff in my case i have watched ict live twitter spaces i never missed out on a single live twitter space and i've gained so much knowledge that i'm not using currently but it can become beneficial later and as i said before guys winning trades or losing trades do not affect these traders if they win a trade they will not feel anything and similarly if they lose the trade they will not feel sad or worry about it the 10% of the traders trade like a robot they have a set of rules and they follow those rules like a robot so I want you to do the same when you lose the trade forget about it come back the next day when you win a trade keep your expectations low don't feel happy about it right and just come back the next day or maybe you can take one or two, one or two more trades and then if, if things go right then well and good if you lose well and good just come back the next day right now another thing is that there are a lot of gurus out there so i want you to get proper education i do not want you to learn from every single creator out there choose one or two gurus that you trust and learn from them don't watch every single guru because all of them have different strategies right and there will be one strategy that you will learn from one guru right and it can become profitable but if you start learning different things from other people then you will mix up everything and that can significantly you know affect the way you trade so another thing is that a lot of these traders keep their eye on the economic calendar so i want you guys to whenever the new week starts i want you guys to look at the economic calendar on the forex factory and see the red folder news is right you have to trade on the days where there's red news folder because that will inject the volatility into the markets so as an ict trader i want you guys to trade on the days when there is news right because there will be more volatility the price will have targets to achieve with on mondays you will mostly see consolidation right so it is not advisable to trade on mondays because there will be no news and price since it was the start of a new week the price will just consolidate so i think these tips in some way can help you become one of the 10 percent of those elite traders well this is a long journey guys and it took me personally four years to become profitable so it's going to be a long journey it could be small for you there are some exceptions but realistically on average it takes around two to three years to become consistently profitable so i think this should be it guys i'll see you guys in the next video i hope you guys learned something from this video and goodbye for now